guys, Manisha here and welcome back to my channel. Well, uh, today's video is about drawing years but before we start, I have something to say. If you want, you can skip forward. If you want to listen to my bug bug, <laughs> then yes, of course you can. So I was saying, uh, today's video is about years and uh, what, I, what I wanted to say is a lot of people don't put that much effort into drawing years. I have seen portraits, I mean I do it myself, it's a bad habit, you shouldn't, but uh, I think it's because a lot of people, um, like we basically recognize other people by their more prominent features, which are um, eyes and lips, maybe that's the reason we don't really put that much effort into drawing um, ears, but it's always good to uh, you know know how to draw basic shapes and uh, to, uh, to know the basic structure, so that's why today's video and uh, i wanted to say uh, we are like nearly done with all the facial features i'll be making one last video after this video of course um where i'll be showing you how to get all the proportions and everything right so yeah if you guys have any ideas uh, any suggestions anything do uh, write in the comments down below and let me know what videos i should make next yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> let's go let's draw some yeah, not some one. I'll just show you one. You can go and practice and draw as many years as you want. <laughs> okay, let's go. Drawing years may seem difficult and complex because they contain many bumps, valleys, and falls. Learning how to draw an year is a lot easier when you learn to simplify its complex shapes. I'm gonna start with drawing a box and then outline the shape of the year. The upper part of the year is called the helix and the lower part is called an ear loop. And your loop is smaller in proportion to the helix. Once you're done drawing um, the outline, draw an inverted U on the top part of the year, just like I'm doing. You can keep this line as jagged and as smooth as you want, keep this part uh, slightly curved inwards then draw a mirrored C and then a crooked U at the bottom make sure you leave a good amount of space at the bottom of the ear loop guess what we are almost done you can leave it like this and start with your shading or you can go ahead and draw a few more lines to make it look more realistic Once you're done, now we can move on with the shading. Um, I'm gonna list all these products in the description down below so you can go check them out. Uh, I'll be listing some links from where you can buy these products. So do check it, check the description and the links. Um, okay, so we'll start by shading the inner parts the darkest parts of the ear decide where your light source is in my case my light source is from the left side so i'm gonna take my darkest pencil you can take um, an 8b or a 6b and shade the deeper parts of the ear darker like this part and the part i just shaded keep the bumps of your ear lighter and the valleys darker Once you're done shading the darkest parts, mm -hmm. these parts don't really look that dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and darken them. And once I'm done, I'm gonna take a lighter pencil, a 2B or an HB perhaps, and then I'm just gonna shade the whole year now. Uh, always keep in mind that the bumps are gonna be lighter than the valleys, valleys are gonna be darker and the rest of the year is gonna be in mid-tones. I'm gonna use a blending star. Our year is made up of a lot of bumps and valleys so uh, do not shade the whole year in one single color. I think I'm pretty much done. You can use a needed eraser if you think your shading uh, is too dark. Well, this is pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, um, 
do give it a big thumbs up and please share it with your friends i'm gonna list all the materials i've used um, in the description down below i'm gonna give you some links so you can go and buy these materials thank you Hi guys i hope you like this video and i hope you found this video helpful enough if you really like this video then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to, the, to my channel and if you are already subscribed if you have already subscribed then hit the bell icon uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends and well yeah if you have any ideas or suggestions on what videos i should make next then do write in the comments down below and let me know that's pretty much it see you in the next video doodles